everyone. Welcome to Pumpkin Horror. Now we're going to be doing our pumpkin carvings first time for this year of 2023. Now I've already got mine done. It is the first carving. It's not the greatest, but it is cool just to say. And eventually what we're going to do is we're going to get some more pumpkins in the next couple of days or so. Or a week, who knows. And we're going to do some more carvings, but this is the first set of them. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what it looks like, as you can see. The entire table right now. This is a bit of a mess, okay? I already cleaned up my area because my, my pumpkin's already carved. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. Right there, that's what she looks like right there. Now when she lights up, she look, should look pretty cool outside. Alright. And then we got this one right here. Can we see that Debbie Ann? It says boo on there. I think that's pretty cool the way she did that. All right, we'll be right back. Okay, we're back, and what we're gonna pretty much show you is what it looks like lit up inside the house. And then eventually, again, I will shut this down and, and uh, do it outside once it gets dark outside. So let me give you a good shot of what it looks like, okay? And that is what they look like right there. You know what we need to do next time? Is take a before picture of after. Okay, that's what she looks like. Right. That one actually actually came out pretty good because you don't see all the markings and stuff like that and all the sloppiness, but it does look good the way it does. This one really does stand out. She did a fantastic job on the words. The word in itself can be kind of hard and intricate if you don't have the right tools to do the job. And the ghost. So she's really good at this kind of stuff here. Me. I'm more a traditionalist and I like evil looking pumpkins and that's why I do what I do. But anyway, what we'll do is I'll be back once it gets dark and I'll show you what it looks like outside. But in the meantime, let me show you my Halloween tree. Okay, it's all lit up in orange this year. Now normally we have different color lights on it, but that's what that looks like. Alright, so we will be uh, right back once it gets dark. As you can see, it's still pretty bright out there. So it'll be a couple of hours, so. We'll see you in a bit, okay? All right. Okay, welcome back. Now, what we're going to kind of do is kind of walk you through everything that's on the front yard so far. So, we're going to start off with the zombie uh, wall crawler here, but he kind of doesn't want to crawl the wall right now. He's just hanging on the pole right here. So, I know it's kind of dark. I don't know if you can actually see it or not. All right, there we go. If it doesn't do justice, I apologize about that, but it is a little darker than usual out here, and he don't light it up, so... Now we're going to come across the witches here. Now we got this from Lakeside Collectibles. There's a total of three of these witches. All right. And they got a little sparkle in their dress. And they do make sounds and stuff like that, but we set it at a different setting. Those are the three witches. Now over here, as you can see, the porch is always lit up in some kind of orange lights. All right. And we got flags that represent Happy Halloween. Okay as well as the skulls that are running along the entire porch, okay? The actual pumpkins in themselves, as you can see, these were lit up in the uh, kitchen, and they're now outside, okay? And we got little night lights up on top of the rail. And this is mine, which surprisingly it looks really good, especially the way I cut it and stuff like that. I didn't think it looked good on the, uh, the actual uh, table, but it does look good when you light it up. Now this guy right here, it's kind of like a scarecrow type dude. All right. And he's just hanging up on the rail, okay. And again, skulls all the way around. Now this guy right here is a clown. He will be coming inside and I'm gonna add him to my collection because I've got a bunch of clown masks and I'm big into clowns. And a lot of people don't like them because they get creeped out by them. But I think they're freaking cool. Some more witches here. Now these guys here, I think these are the ones we got from Lakeside Collectibles. The other ones we got from Bilo. I mean, um, um, BJ's Warehouse. All right, there's a total of three of these guys here. All right. As you can see, they're flashing and stuff. Okay. Well, that's pretty much it in a nutshell for the outside right now. Alright, I'm going to say goodbye. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And I will see you guys at the next video.